Ladies and gentlemen, Boxer Rebellion. Round of applause, please. Boxer Rebellion, kindly sponsored by Central Filing. End of commercial. Friends, if you just tuned in to Station MWK, you missed a great song. It was originally a hit for Frank Sinatra way back when. It's been redone for 2004 by the discontented female backbench chorus. There's something like this here. She's not in the cabinet, she said, au revoir. She parlays Francais and flies near and far. She won't say yes, sir, no matter who you are. That lady Renee is a whip. She don't take no shit from Alex the man. And you better look like her if you possibly can. She's got an agenda, maybe even a plan. That lady Renee is a whip. That brings the time here on Station MWK to 9 o'clock. Time for the latest news here on Radio Mohawk. The son of St. David. Dumbly, 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 dumbly. We have the latest news from the Mohawk newsroom. Her, I am. <laughs> news tonight, a presentation of the Alaska Hall Ice Cream Parlor. <laughs> In the headlines, the House of Parliament today declared itself a duty-free zone. All MPs can now officially shirk their duties. <laughs> Premier Alex Scott announced today that government's social agenda aims to both increase job opportunities for youth and reduce the number of seniors living in poverty. Suicidal young maniacs will be employed to drive busloads of low-income seniors <laughs> all over Bermuda. This will result in heart attacks and, no doubt, some traffic fatalities. <laughs> UBP MP Michael Dunkley was attacked by two pit bulls while he was jogging on South Shore Road this morning. Authorities say both dogs are resting comfortably at the SPCA <laughs> Intensive Care Kennel. We'll be back with more news at the square from our sponsor. <laughs> For quick snacks and delicious ice cream, stop by the Alaska Hall Ice Cream Parlor today. The Alaska Hall Ice Cream Parlor is home of the all-you-can-grab dessert buffet, <laughs> where you help yourself to whatever you want from their extensive dipping cabinets. <laughs> of low-fat, low-carb, low-cost housing crunch. <laughs> Served in a creme prefab gun. <laughs> Bring along the whole gang because you'll need help tackling the town and country chop-chop Sunday. <laughs> Three scoops all whipped into a frenzy and topped with a bunch of toasted local nuts. <laughs> The Chop Chop Sunday is served with two spoons and a machete so you can share the fun with all your friends. <laughs> Every week, there's a new flavor to try. This week, the featured flavor is BHC Super Chunky Fudge. <laughs> so full of big, sleazy, fudging chunks. <laughs> and it is awfully difficult to stop. <laughs> down to negotiate for a Coco Reed Super Shake. <laughs> it looks good, tastes great, and you get to decide how big it is and how much you end up paying for it. <laughs> and if you want a quick party snack, you must try Dr. Brown's special GPS red bean soup. <laughs> One bowl of Dr. Brown's GPS red bean soup and all your friends will know exactly where you are. <laughs> Alaska Hall Ice Cream Parlor, open 24 hours a day for your convenience. 
and now back to the news. <laughs> the Ministry of Finance today denied rumors that government is planning to legalize prostitution. A finance ministry spokesman said no such move is contemplated, even though, quote, the no hard goal is to screw the public and charge them for the Britain. <laughs> The Statistics Department announced today that it has solved the problem of homelessness here in Bermuda. Henceforth, anyone without a home will be classified as a nomadic Bedouin tribesman <laughs> and encouraged to continue wandering abroad. <laughs> Dr. Hewitt Brown, Minister of Transport and Tourism, today reaffirmed that he will authorize any and every airline to come to Bermuda in a bid to boost visitor arrival. Minister made the statement as he welcomed to Bermuda the inaugural flight of big, fat, naked, redneck airline. <laughs> and finally, in the news, in an attempt to restore order to Bermuda's road, the police have enhanced their Selective Traffic Enforcement Program, or STEP, with two extra phases. In addition to STEP, the police will now also stand Stop traffic and annoy drivers. <laughs> For the third phase of the program, the police and the court will slump. Suck lots of unused money from the public. <laughs> That's it for the news here on station MWK. Time now for everybody's favorite embalmer. East End's King of the Caskets, please welcome everybody, Leon Augustus Bully Boy Pyramid, with this evening's funeral note. Good evening. We regret to announce the death of well known restaurateur and longtime sanitation worker. Eugene one not O'Connor. <laughs> Beloved son of Quinton Dog Breath Fisher and by the Twin Peaks Lamb of Indyway Lighthouse Lane, St. David, in his 97th year. Those who were acquainted with one not knew him to be a charming man, but not a lucky one. <laughs> he got his nickname as a result of a free fishing accident during the summer of 1916, and that's the tone for much of his life. <laughs> Long-time residents of St. David's will recall the more celebrated accident to be fall one night. We could just as easily have been told, no thumbs, toes, or flambe. <laughs> His fortune really sent again on Thursday while one nut was preparing a battle of fish chowder for the upcoming county man. His assistant chef, Amos Footlong Fett, <laughs> left one nut in the kitchen, stirred the bat, while he went down the road to get more cilantro than heavy kick on the pump virtual. <laughs> when he returned, Footlong found one nut up to his waist in chowder at first. <laughs> After turning down the heat to reduce sticking, Footlong pulled one nut out of the large pot, but it was too late. He always put everything he had into his food. <laughs> one nut is survived by his wife, Pearlie and Chiquita, and by his son, Carl Belcher Fogo, Cuthbert Windy Fox, and Cecil B.O. Pitt. <laughs> also surviving are daughters Shirley, Pearlie, and Vaseline, <laughs> as well as special friend Laverne and her goat Bluebell. <laughs> One nut will be laid to rest after a traditional potluck supper and stagger home wait Saturday night at the cruise club. In lieu of flowers, donations may be made to the charities nearest and dearest to One Nut's heart. The Hospital Sperm Unit, the Bermuda Red Cross Blood Bank, and the Bermuda Breastfeeding Resource Center. <laughs> One Nut's one. Was like he was a stern <laughs> Thank you, boy. We're going to make you, we're going to make you wait. And I'll be today, too.
That's it for right now here on Station NWK. We'll be back with a whole pile more here on Radio Mohawk. <laughs>